These are the steps. <laughs> oh, oh. This is a win right here. With loading the dishwasher? Yeah. Aw, thanks. Jay said I did an amazing job loading the dishwasher last night because he taught me to have better organization with it. <laughs> Good morning, guys, and welcome to another vlog. Getting the day started. Actually, I've been up for a while, but I'm finally going to get the bed made and everything. I have been in the office uploading a YouTube video, answering some emails. It is 7.22 and I woke up at I think like 5.50 or so. So I've actually been up for a while but still in my PJs about to get the day started and just wanted to start off another vlog. Good morning guys. It's Wednesday morning and I figured I would just take you through the remainder of the week. The deal is whoever's the last out of bed has to make the bed and I came back in here and Jay was still laying in here. I laid down for a second. And he jumps up. <laughs> like, okay, you make breakfast then. So he's making us some English muffins. And we're going to make the bed. Look at it. It looks like I was just laying in it so weird that it is very disheveled right now. Jake has the TikTok sound stuck in his head that is all that work and what did it get me? We gotta figure out this duvet insert in here. We'll do that tonight or something. Confidence, baby. Is that better? Yes, thank you so much. You're welcome. Favorite package to get. I love, love, love getting my Thrive package each month. And we always do our pantry restock. Sometimes I'll get frozen stuff from there, but normally pantry restock and some like condiments and whatnot. It's always so heavy whenever I get their coconut water because just the coconut water is so heavy in itself. But I get these giant bottles of Thrive coconut water. It's like my only coconut water that I actually will drink. Whenever I get them from the grocery store, Jay says, are you actually gonna drink that? But these ones, I go through pretty quickly. Got some pitted dates, which is one of our main ingredients in our smoothies that we've been making. I also kind of want to do those healthy Snickers that I've done a couple times. I think that we're due for a new little treat. Some more mini chocolate chips that I did with those uh, little granola bites. Some toasted coconut. I've been toasting it myself with just the regular toasted or the regular coconut flakes, but this one comes toasted, so I figured that would be easy some brown rice flour because the flour that I got in my last Thrive package, I ordered the wrong kind to make gluten-free sourdough and this kind I actually can do. And also there's a recipe for brownies on the back too. So maybe we can make some, some gluten-free sourdough as well or some gluten-free brownies as well. Some gluten-free pancake mix from King Arthur. We always do pancakes on Sundays, so it's always a must. We recently switched over to this brand, which I showed in my last haul too. We used to do, oh, sometimes Simple Mills and sometimes that um, red something, but now we're on to King Arthur. We like a lot. Also in the little granola bites that we started doing, or um, oatmeal bites that we did, some hemp parts. This is a big bag compared to what I have. And these, these are so flipping delicious. They are peanut butter filled pretzels. And these go quickly in this house. They're also gluten free. I have celiac, so I try to find some snacks that we can have around here that actually taste good. 
These are the best gluten-free pretzels. This and one other kind of pretzels that I've gotten from Thrive Market are to die for, and you would never even know that they're gluten-free. That's what I love about Thrive, is that it's so easy to shop based on your diet, your preference, uh, if you are gluten-free, dairy-free, if you're vegan, if you have a certain preference like paleo, uh, they have just about everything for you and it makes it so easy to shop with aisles that are specific rather than wandering through the grocery store. Gluten-free sourdough starter. Also got some hemp and chia and flax mix so that I can include these in some of my little protein ball, uh, I call them energy balls that have all sorts of different nutrients in them. Some Justin's almond butter, some element packets, which we love having these in our water each day for some electrolytes and some hydration. Some Three Wishes cereal. I was obsessed with this for a while and I figured it's about, it's about time to bring this back because lately I've been craving cereal a lot. And I can never find these at Publix. Got some more Go Macro bars. I got the variety pack as well as, is this the, yeah, blueberry and cashew. These are the two that I got last time too, and those were a hit. I've rolled through them. So good to have just like a snack to bring on the road. And then also the famous salsa that I will get every single time that I make a Thrive order. So kind of a small haul, but all things that we go through pretty quickly and it's pretty much a focus on my new little recipe obsession for our energy balls and our smoothies. If you have yet to try out Thrive Market, it's one of my no-brainer subscriptions that we love getting every single month. They're things that I would typically get at the grocery store, but I can save on every single order. And I think it says that like my average is I don't know, maybe $20, $25 that I save on things that I would pick up at the grocery store. Also, it's really nice because when I'm going to the grocery store, I tend to grab things that I wouldn't actually need or will end up going bad and I just am like hungry and grab it spur of the moment. But when I am shopping on Thrive Market, it's a lot easier to look through your cart, know that you're getting things that you'll actually use. And then it also will remind you of things that you've gotten in the past, which is very helpful too, because I tend to just kind of restock the same few things. I'll make sure to link it in my description box. If you want to try out Thrive Market, you can get 30% off and then up to a $60 free gift when you use my link, which is thrivemarket.com slash Sydney Adams. I'll have that in my description box as well. But thank you so much Thrive Market for sponsoring today's YouTube video. Jay made me a little English muffin with some almond butter. I'm gonna put a little bit of cinnamon on here. Guys, look what's happening out there. We can't see because they've got these all around it, so I figured I'd show you on the cameras. They're doing the cement right now. It is getting real out there with the pool being done. And I think today is like, the biggest, it's the cement day where you can actually like go down there and see what the pool is shaped like and you'll see the benches and everything. So I'm excited to see what it looks like. I'm gonna get ready because Jay and I are going to do a workout class together today, which I'm excited for. He normally is not one to say he wants to do a workout class. So the second that he did, I was like, oh, I'm sold. I think he's just a little burnt out with his workout since he's been training so much for running and just hasn't really been super into his lifts. So also clean clothes right here that I need to put away. Mental note, I need to do that today. But what are we wearing for a workout? I've been liking wearing like running shorts to work out and a sports bra, so I might do that. I ended up giving a lot of my colored stuff to my sister that I just wasn't wearing a bunch. So a lot of like my colored sports bras and stuff, just because she, after she had Ty and like a couple months after that, she was like, I need all new workout clothes. So I was like, oh, I don't wear these that much. So I gave her some and now I have like hardly any colored outfits, but I do have this peachy orange but every time I see her, she's got it all on. So she rocks them all and that's good because I had a lot of different colors like hot pink and everything that I just was not like this color. I love, but like I was hardly ever wearing and I'm doing better at that. Like if I'm not gonna wear something and I'm not getting much use out of it, it needs to go. Except I did like kind of make a mistake by getting rid of sports bras when I didn't get rid of the shorts and so I don't have a lot of like my matching outfits, which kind of stinks, but 
Should we wear this? I think I have a purple one that's really cute. Okay, should we do the purple set, which is a flow eye bra and this pair of, what are these, speed ups maybe? And then the same pair of shorts in this peachy color. And this is like a cross back bra. I think I'm gonna start with the purple, see what we think. I'm thinking we're gonna go with the purple outfit. Isn't this just such a fun fit? And then I need a pair of shoes that I want to wear with this. Ouch, I just slammed my shin. Okay, how do we feel about doing this and then having like a full crazy colorful outfit? I know that these are more so pink on here. They are pink, but that could just be fun and have a million different colors going on. I think that's what we're gonna do. Do you guys struggle with the decision on doing one of like the little higher socks or doing the little itty bitty ankle no-show socks? Cause I do, I always put on one of each and then I'm like, okay, what do we think looks better with this fit? I was such like a high ankle sock girly for so long that I have a hard time getting out of it, but I have to admit, I think this looks better. <laughs> my allergies are kicking my butt. And one would think, maybe just be consistent with your allergy medicine and not wait until it gets horrible. One would think, one would think, but I'm starting them and my eyes are freaking burning 24 seven. I'm sneezing up a storm. I'm guessing the pollen is getting bad, but back to my allergy medicine. I just get these from Symbiotica. I don't know if any of you guys use these at all for your allergy medicine. I don't think I've been consistent enough to know if they even work, but I feel like I trust their stuff a lot. They've got good supplements, so. Just finished our stations class and I wish y'all could just experience what kind of brutal workout that just was and Jay was like I think that was worse than running 14 miles like that was so brutal it was core and conditioning which I honestly should have told Jay that originally because I've never done a core and conditioning one and we just should have known that that one was gonna be brutal it was definitely the hardest workout class that I've ever done I think core is my weak suit or like my my week type of workout just because one if you have been here for a while you know I had abdominal surgery like a year and a half ago or something so I'm still like getting back to feeling strong with my core but even that just that like just in general like core is so hard and brutal and I hate doing planks and just it's, it's gonna be hard for me forever and then you add in some cardio like we had to do five minutes straight of rowing we had sprints on the hit bike we had uh, basically like hold on to a uh, pull up bar and you had to do knee raises or L raises and then knee hold, like knee up holds. Uh, so they called them, I think like L holds or something. I definitely struggled with that because I don't have a super strong grip strength and that just was hard. And then um, we had the medicine ball throws, burpees, so many burpees. We had kettlebell holds. Gosh, it was so hard. We had like slider four workouts. It was, it was hard for sure. So yeah, that was good workout, but hard as heck. And Jay is showering right now because we're gonna go straight to the chiropractor. I wanna go to a place called Storm. I think we have time before our appointment and that is like natural energy drinks. And then they also have uh, protein shakes there, I think too. So maybe I can convince Jay that we should go there if we have time before our appointment. How are we feeling? Uh, geez, that was harder than freaking running 15 miles. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, that was so brutal. That was the hardest workout class I've ever done. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jay took a shower and Jay was like, I should have cooled off first. There's nothing worse than getting in the shower after a workout and then getting out and you're just still dripping sweat. Yeah, that is brutal. Dripping sweat, cause then it's like, now I gotta put on clean clothes and they're just gonna be all sweaty. Or you just go naked. Or that, yeah, <laughs> no shot. Cause then the bathroom's hot. Yeah. <sighs> Whew, but we made it through. Thank you for y'all. 
got a smoothie for each of us. This one, I think, the green machine. What do you think? It's good. You probably would have gotten a different one in there, but yeah. We did. Oops, when I smiled walking out, I probably have blueberry in my teeth, but there was another one. But it had graham crackers in it, so mm. couldn't get that. But, and they said without graham crackers, it's not really good. This is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Tastes healthy. Tastes healthy. <laughs> and then this, did you try that? Mm -hmm. It's different, but I like it. It's just very subtle. It's a healthy Celsius, they said. It has energy wow. in it. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. And vitamins and stuff. Not bad. Me too. All right, here's all of the bridal stuff. A couple things from Abercrombie and then have a bikini right here. Okay, we're gonna start off with honeymoon, bridal, all of the white dresses. This one would likely be a honeymoon dress. I think that this is so cute. Going back and forth on if I wanna do one size up, it's the brand Guizio, Guzio. It is, let's see, can I show it to you guys? Guizio and it has a little bit of a some side boob action and I think that would happen even if I did a size bigger but I don't know I'm going back and forth maybe it would be like this form-fitting fit regardless and I'm just kind of I don't know not used to doing like super body con dresses so maybe that's why what do we think about this probably one size up though super pretty low back Open back, halter top. I love a good halter top. I originally got this one. I feel like I need to learn how to tie it a little bit tighter because it kind of looks a little strange right here. But I got this from Sabo and I originally got it back when we were doing engagement photos and it ended up just not really being the vibe I was going for for our beach photos. But I think if I tied this a little bit tighter, it would look a little bit better. And I love the open back. And it's just a, I don't know, what do we think that I would wear this for? Maybe bachelorette trip because it's like the silkiest, cute, flowy vibe. So girly, I love it. And then it has button detailing down the center. This one is from Chopo and it is like falling off of me. I shouldn't have waited so long to try it on, but just picture it being altered to look like this right here. I think that I can get them to kind of take it in a little bit. That's kind of a lot of fabric right there. Gosh, I really should have tried this on because I feel like the size below or even two sizes below, I don't remember what I got in this. I guess I could look in a second, but I will love this once it's taken in a little bit and looks super form fitting on the waist. Is this not adorable? Obviously the back doesn't give you much right now, but I think that this would be so good for a bridal shower. Love. Now that I'm looking at this one and I have it off of me, I realized that they sent me the wrong size. So I wonder if that can make me um, get a new one because this they sent an eight. So I could definitely get my size in this and it would be perfect. This one is from Reformation and I can totally see this one ending up as a honeymoon dress. I think this is perfect. We're gonna be in Italy if you haven't seen a video that I've talked about that. I think I've talked about that in my last vlog maybe, but I think that this would be perfect to walk around, have dinner, lunch, such a bridal moment. I love Reformation for classy, nice dresses. Here's another full length one that I got for engagement photos and didn't end up wearing. I think the reason I've kept a lot of them that I was like, oh, I'm not gonna wear these for photos is that I feel like I have so many different things that I'll be able to wear white dresses for coming up here soon. So I kept them and I'm not exactly sure what I'll wear this one for. I kind of need to plan out my outfits for all the different things, but I do think that this is like a perfect, simple dress. It's just a silk, very plain Jane dress. And this one is from Beginning Boutique, just so I can give you guys some different ideas. I'm gonna try and link everything as well. And then on my Like to Know It, I'm gonna try and put everything on my Like to Know It as well. This one is from Princess Polly. I don't know if I have this styled correctly. I don't know if you remember when I showed you guys this for engagement photos as well. A lot of these, that's what I had bought them for. It kind of went crazy with the white dresses, but this one will likely be a bachelorette trip dress. I, once again, need to figure out the situation up here because something doesn't seem right with this. I think that it was styled a little bit differently or maybe they just tied them tighter so it didn't look exactly like this, but the strings are different lengths. So I have a feeling I did something wrong. You get the gist of what this will look like though. And I think it is a super cute, very simple dress. 
another princess poly dress i'm hoping that this one won't look weird once i get it hemmed because it is very very long on me i wonder if i could even get it hemmed into being like a midi dress just because they're all the same size sections on here if you can see where the stitching is where i'm wondering if i just need to get it brought all the way up i don't know if that would look weird or not but i'm sure they can figure something out to make it a little bit shorter for me another halter dress i love a halter i also think that this is just a very flattering feminine cut but still doesn't look like too showy the common theme of the halter dress continues but this one is from beginning boutique as well and i think that this is just like the most simple you could dress this up with gold jewelry and a cute purse i would say either for the honeymoon or for the bachelorette trip also, the week leading up to our wedding, we're going to be in the same destination as our wedding, and it's going to be summertime. It's August, so I'll have a lot of times to wear white dresses for different date nights and kind of just some fun little activities that we're going to do during that week. So all the white dresses are needed. <laughs> Another long, simple one. This one's from Meshki. This one comes right to my ankles, if you can see that length right there. I know I'm not in the best spot for the full length ones, but it just has this V back to it. As simple as it gets, I almost think that I would want to get this one taken in a little bit as well. I'm the queen of not doing returns or exchanges, and it just causes more work for me later on. <laughs> I don't know. When I got this, I was thinking like it would just be a loose. It, it honestly could be fine the way it is right here. Just got this bikini from Dillard's. I don't know. I just took the tags off because I was like, oh, I like how this looks. I don't know if I love these bottoms on the more that I have them on, but I love this top. I wish that the bottoms were a little bit more cheeky and a little bit thinner of bottoms that they came up a little bit higher on the side. But I do think that this top is like the most perfect bridal bachelorette trip dress or bachelorette trip bikini. I figured I may as well show you guys the stuff that I am going to return as well. I don't love how this looks on me, but it is such a cute set. It is from GGC is what it's called from Revolve. So I just personally don't love a super high waist just because my torso is so short and I don't love how it looks folded over either. But this is gonna be for my bachelorette trip because we're gonna do a workout class one of the days. But not obsessed with it on me. I think it would look really good on someone with maybe a little bit longer of a torso. Here is a bikini that I got from Dillard's. This I'm thinking just to have because I wanted a couple more bikinis that I really like, but also for the honeymoon I'm thinking. I think that this is a really, I don't need to do all white bikinis for the honeymoon. I'll want some fun different ones. And this is a really pretty, this gives Italian summer, right? <laughs> Here's my favorite bikini of the haul. I don't have anything like this. I think that this is so fun. It's from the brand Maki. I got it with my mom when I was in Dillard's. She picked it out and she's like, this would look so perfect on you. I love the fit of the bottoms. They're like the perfect amount of booty. And I think that this is just like the most comfortable bikini. So totally different vibe for me. And it has like a leopard print on the inside. I don't think that it's reversible because it has like the little frillies, but I do think that this is such a fun suit. On to the few Abercrombie things. This dress is going to be a perfect vacation dress. I love, love, love the pattern on this. The color is perfect. I think that this is, this is a win right here. I got this in a size extra small for size reference. Yep, I am in love with these bottoms that are going to be the best bikini cover up. These are probably my favorite pair of pants that I've ever gotten to be like a beach cover up. I never find any like linen pants that I love that can be like low waisted, flowy, comfortable, but also cute. And I just think that this is perfect. You even could kind of, you know, roll it up if you like it like that. I love a low waisted moment. I got these in size extra small as well. I feel like they kind of run a little bit big just because like they're still a little loose. And I would say I'm typically a size extra small, but I thought that they were gonna be like a pretty fitted look, but I'm happy with how they look low waisted. I did a size medium in this sweatshirt. Have I ever been to Nantucket? Also, I have pants on, they're just my little bikini bottoms, but 
I've never been to Nantucket in my life. Never even been to Massachusetts in my life, but I love their sweatshirts from Abercrombie. I had on a Buck sweatshirt earlier today, and that is the same super comfy, but like thin, soft material. And their sweatshirts are just amazing. I size up a little bit to have the oversized loungy look. And that's everything. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that haul. I know that was very targeted towards bridal girlies, but if you need some dresses, those are perfect to go to those brands at least. You know what I mean? Like Be Beginning Boutique, we've got Reformation, Princess Polly, uh, what else did we have? Some Revolve ones. I will make sure to link everything so that you guys can, Dish has some good ones, um, so that you guys can find some cute things. Love is blind time. I don't think I need a recap. It's time. Woo! Oh, wow. Yeah, March 6th. I was out here saying, oh, we did the last two episodes that we're watching. No, they're not. There are two more left and one next week and then one the next. So we're still left at a cliffhanger. They're going to get married. <laughs> Good morning, guys. I just got back from doing a bike ride while Jay ran. And now I'm going to get ready for the gym. It's Thursday morning and tomorrow my Mimi and Papa come and we have kind of a lot to get done before then. So we're gonna go to the gym. Jay's gonna sauna. I think he's only lifting like a couple days a week now, three days a week right now. And I'm gonna work out while he's in the sauna and then his car's in the shop. So we only have one car right now. But uh, my Mimi and Papa coming tomorrow means that we have nightstands to build. We have curtains to hang up. So we also need to go to Home Depot and get a drill because we don't even have a drill. And I think that my little closet um, stepping stool thing or ladder should do the trick for that. So I don't think we need to get a ladder. But if we do need one, then I think we would probably go and get it from my sister and brother-in-law's house if we needed one rather than getting one. So we've got kind of a lot that we want to knock out. And I want to do cute little things in there just to make sure it's all ready. Like have uh, all their shampoo and conditioner, their soap, everything ready. So first off, we just need to get ready for the gym. I went in to give you all a little backyard update because you can tell exactly. I was showing you guys this a little bit on the cameras. But you can see exactly what the shape of the pool is looking like and is going to be. So this right here is the shallow end and there's a bench on the shallow end and on the deep end. And you can tell it's like not a super deep pool. I forget how many, I should know how many feet. Is that probably 10 foot? Is that 10 foot maybe? But um, is that even 10 foot though? That doesn't even seem like that. It might even be eight foot, but we didn't want a super deep pool because there's really no need for it. And uh, we have a waterfall going right here. So that will be on that side, right where I'm pointing. And then these are the steps to go down into the shallow end right here. And we're going to have chairs right here. So this will be in the sunshine. And then we also, I didn't realize that we're gonna have enough room right here. They're like pump or something is running. So you can kind of hear that, sorry, in the background. But there actually will be enough room where we could put probably a couple lawn chairs right here because we're gonna have pavers coming out and then also have pavement. So, um, or some kind of pavement, I forget exactly, but we're doing pretty much all white and neutrals. So it's gonna look really, really different here just in a couple of weeks. Um, this is what, two weeks of progress, I guess. And I think it's gonna take five weeks total. So five and a half weeks total. They really, they really busted out and they've been here so much. So um, this over here, some seating and then this over there some seating and then we're gonna do actually some rocks back in the back right there where you can see some grass and all the way back and probably do some landscaping and some some different um, trees or I think maybe we'll do like the little mini palm trees or something and then this in here we have our grill right here but we also have the same seating out here that we had in the apartment uh, patio area. And the, these are just from Pottery Barn that I got. I need to figure out if I can take these off and clean them, I bet we can. But the fact I've never taken them off to clean is absolute ludicrous, but 
they honestly stay pretty good to never clean them. They used to get rain on them sometimes back in the apartment. But um, I think that we're gonna try and figure out some seating that we can do out here in the patio area. I mean, it is a huge area. So we'll be able to do probably like a long table maybe so that we can have people sit out here and eat like when we grill out or maybe do like a round table like right here and do some kind of seating. I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do because we obviously have our side glass door right here and I don't know it's gonna it's all gonna come together really well but I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update probably shouldn't have been out here in just my socks good morning guys happy casual Friday I wanted to show you guys the guest room and how it's looking out here the pillows make it I got these ones from home goods and last night it was so dark in here it was like impossible to show you guys how it actually looks these nightstands actually pretty much everything's from Amazon the rug is from Amazon this is the same rug that was in here with my office I kind of actually plan this room's color scheme based off of the rug because I absolutely love it it's my favorite rug in the house and I did like creams and I actually got some bed sheets that are this color that I think might look a little bit better but since this is already like made up and the sheets are clean I already got the other ones in I just want to wash them and so it makes more sense to just put those on after I mean we have a leave it doesn't it doesn't look nearly as bad as what I thought it would with some cream because this is kind of pulling it all together I love these pillows I am going to try and find them. Okay, they're the brand Lillian. Lillian August? Yeah, I'll have to find them. But I want to find one more. So even if they don't have them at Home Goods, I might have to go on a hunt for one more because I think that would look really nice across. And then this link blanket right here is from Amazon. It used to be on our um, primary bed. And I think that it looks really nice, just kind of messily across. And then the comforter is from Brooklinen. This uh, is obviously from Brooklinen as well. And actually, matter of fact, so are the white sheets. So the sheets and the bedding and the duvet cover is all, and the duvet insert is all from Brooklinen. So I probably will give you a rundown on all of my bedding because I'm going to switch over some bedding to some more springy colors here soon in the other rooms. But I think that this is looking really nice. I only had one light bulb, so I am ordering, or I already ordered and they should be here soon for the next light bulb. These are very inexpensive lamps. I'm trying to remember what it even was for a set of two, but very inexpensive. And I'm not obsessed with them. They're kind of a little lopsided right now, but uh, I'm not obsessed with them, with the quality of them, but for the price, they're perfect. So they were very, very inexpensive, and I think they actually look really good in here. They're just, I like had to put together the lampshades, so the lampshades kind of like this right here, which no one would even notice, but the nightstands, super impressed with. The drawer works perfectly for the price of these. Also, they're nothing like crazy, but they're really, really cute and they're perfect. So happy with how those turned out. I'm happy with how everything turned out. The mirror, still the one from my office being out here and that is from Amazon. And I feel like we've covered all of our bases. Oh, and I haven't even shown the curtains. The curtains are looking honestly really good. I just need to uh, steam them today. Am I going to get around to that? Let's see, because I'm also going golfing with my family. So we'll see if I have time, but they do look really nice as long as we get those wrinkles out. And these also were very inexpensive from Amazon. I just didn't want to invest in, oh, I like how they feel too. Uh, I didn't want to invest in like crazy expensive curtains for us to have out here because it's our guest. Like we didn't want to do the custom ones. And although those ones look way nicer, I still think that these will be totally fine. Dang, that looks good, right? Nice. I hate when it doesn't have a T. Okay. <laughs> Can you hand me a white one? Right? Yeah. 
Well, I did that last time and I'm no I'm in no position to give any type of training or help, but I actually didn't look up. I looked at the ball the whole time. Okay. And for some reason that helps. Okay. Did I look up? I honestly I didn't see, but I'm just saying that's what helped me. Do you swing all the way back? Um about up to your shoulders is what I did. Again, I, I'm in no position to oh, <laughs> Hey, wow. there you go. That is our best shot. That's right in the right. Yeah. That's perfect. Shelby and I are playing. Is that a scramble? Uh -huh. We take the best shot. And so <laughs> with everyone, we're like, one of us has got to do okay. <laughs> Just got back from playing golf and I never even showed y'all my outfit. I have on this Wondermost t-shirt from Lululemon Lemon and then this little tennis skirt from Lululemon Lemon as well. And then I had on my Lululemon sneaks as well. A full Lulu outfit. Back home now, that was a lot of fun, and now we're just getting ready for me and Papa to come. It is so stinking clean in here. It feels so good. I feel like we've been grinding to knock out a lot of laundry and just make sure everything looks good here. And I'm excited for them to be here. I'm gonna make a sandwich, hang out for a little bit, get some work done on my computer, and that's about it. Good morning guys, it's Saturday morning and I want to catch you guys up to speed a little bit. I'm making my breakfast right now and my Mimi and Papa are the first guests out in our little guest suite, so that's exciting. But they'll probably be in any minute, I just wanted to catch y'all up on yesterday. So my Mimi and Papa got here yesterday around 3ish and we at, we did a little tour around the house, showed them the updates that we've done since my Mimi has been here last and then my Papa has never seen our house. So that was fun to show everything and show the pool and talk to them about the different things that we've got going on and plans that we have. And I asked my Mimi to be the flower Mimi in our wedding. So that was super cute. I got a little video of it. I was kind of shaky hand because I was not trying to be like paying attention to my phone, but I'll put that right here. I cried. I had to learn how to do a bow. Oh, you certainly did. Oh, I hate to ruin this. Look at this. <laughs> L'Occitane, it's, I used to buy a lot of it and I haven't seen it. They haven't had it around much anymore. Yeah. Oh, so I love that. So we're not doing flower girls. We want to do flower grandmas. Really? Yeah. I and have you in our wedding. wedding? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so sweet. I love you so much. I love you too. You are so yeah. sweet. Oh, you need in a ring wedding. bearer? I mean, I'm a girl. <laughs> yeah. And then after that, we asked my papa to be the officiant at our wedding. And that was a big ass, so I was kind of nervous, honestly. And we made it very clear, like, okay, if you don't want to do this, if it's not something that you want to do, totally, you know, totally understand. It's kind of a big, big thing. But uh, he was so honored and excited, and it was really, really special. But we wanted someone who was pretty familiar with both of us, knew both of us together, and also someone who's strong in their faith and religious, and he definitely is that, and he's very involved in his church. He's so good at speaking, like public speaking. He does not seem to get nervous talking in front of everyone. He's witty, it's fun, and he is gonna be the perfect person for it. So that was really exciting and special. And then after that, we went to uh, Pop Stroke, which is Tiger Woods' little mini golf putt-putt place. Had some food there. I got mahi-mahi fish tacos. And then also we played putt-putt for a while. My sister joined us and it was a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed last night. And that was like the perfect thing to do. I would always choose doing like an activity or a sport over just going out to dinner because I think it's just so much more fun like going and playing um, pickleball or going and playing basketball or going golfing like yesterday I did golf and putt-putt but it was a really fun day so I'm just gonna make my breakfast and then I'm actually gonna head to Publix here in a few because my Mimi was like oh I'll just have toast with butter in the morning and I didn't want to tell her that I don't have butter so I'm just gonna run to Publix and grab some. And that way she can have her toast with butter and then my papa's just gonna have peanut butter toast, which I only have almond butter, so I might even grab peanut butter while I'm there too.
My super master plan of going to Publix to grab um, butter is not gonna work because I forgot that my car is not here because Jay has my car and his car is in the shop. So that's okay. I tried doing Instacart and hopefully Instacart is gonna be here in time because we've gotta leave for my brother-in-law. This crazy man is doing a savage race. I have like two very athletic, crazy humans in my life for between Jay and Josh that like to do all these races, but he's doing a savage race, which if you look it up, it looks crazy. This is what I looked up when I looked up savage race to see what he's doing. A man completely covered in mud. I'm like, you want to do this. Like you're willingly doing this on a Saturday morning. Okay, well, we're gonna support you on it. So last night we were all watching YouTube videos of what this race is gonna be like. And we're like, is he out of his mind? Okay, let's do it. Let's go support him. So that's where we're gonna be this morning. I think we have to leave by like 8.30 or so to go do that. So I'm actually gonna throw some waves in my ear because I have this little waver crimper type vibe. I wanna start doing some different hairstyles with my hair. So while that heats up, I'm gonna put a little makeup on. <laughs> My allergies are absolutely kicking my butt right now. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so annoying. I hate having allergies. And pollen is so bad right now that, yeah, it's impossible to escape them. When I was younger, you can still kind of see it on my nose. I have had such bad allergies to literally everything my entire life. And so when I was younger, I would do this so much that I have like a permanent line on my nose. It's lovely. <laughs> How do we feel about the crimped, very kind of crazy mermaid looking hair? What do we think? I kind of like it, honestly. It's a little wild, but I think that it's a fun little hairstyle. And it's actually so easy to do the crimping because my hair is already kind of that like kinky wavy type look so even if I miss a couple spots or it kind of goes down a little bit it still looks normal but I think we're rolling with it. Oh my this is kind of a disaster. How do we feel about this Mimi? I'm terrified. <laughs> I love Josh. I've already fallen in love with him and now I have to worry about him. <laughs> How do you feel about it, Papa? How do I feel about what? This. Well, <laughs> I wish he wouldn't have signed up for being a pro. <laughs> I don't know where he went wrong there. His brain went a little south on him. I didn't finish it. <laughs> Ty, how do you feel about it? I'm terrified, but I'm going to join. <laughs> Love you. Love you. Oh, oh. I didn't say it. This is just insanity. What do you think about this, Dad? I don't know. I don't. I may have to train another month before I enter. <laughs> Dad's in the next Savage Race. Put a finish line. Well, that's a lot tighter than I thought it was going to yeah, be. Yeah, I thought it was real loose. Yeah. Which makes it real. Bad. Yeah, that's that's not that tough. That's, I mean, oh, oh. Right, that's what they did. All right, we see Josh coming up on us. Top of that, that would have been. That's got to be one of the tougher one right there, I would think. I see him. He's way over there. I can watch, Shine.
God speaks to me about today is I know there's a threshold that we're about to cross as a ministry, so I encourage you with your Just got home from church and didn't show my outfit, so I'm wearing this Aritzia outfit, actually the entire thing, other than the belt, I think I got the belt from Revolve, but I wore my knee-high black boots with this outfit, my YSL purse, Aritzia t-shirt underneath, and then my little blazer short set. I absolutely love this outfit. I think it's, love this outfit. I think it's one of my favorite outfits that I have. And we're gonna just change into some active wear and I think probably play some pickleball at some point today. Oh, I can show you guys my outfit a little bit better, like this. I think it is adorable. And my black boots came to about right here. I walked in and the greeter, the lady at the front, she was just like, well, aren't you? What did she say? Sharp, aren't you looking sharp today? <laughs> We're making some French toast over here and Jay's on pancake duty. <laughs> When it's Sunday, I like a <laughs> <laughs> when it's Sunday and he's making pancakes, I don't even dare try to step in. I think I need one. Of yeah, those. Amazon. <laughs> Do you make pancakes much? Not a lot, but enough to get yeah, one. I like that. I haven't had French toast in a long time. I make it on the mornings where he isn't either playing golf or pickleball. Yeah. <laughs> About as easy as it gets. It's his favorite. Yeah. Time for a little pickleball. I know. <laughs> Mr. Cash Cow. <laughs> no, so this is best two out of three. Our next game. Morning, y'all. Last night we got back to the house after having Blaze Pizza with everyone. That was so much fun to have everyone together for the last night before my mommy and papa had to leave. But we watched The Vow last night, which that movie just tears me to shreds. But that is such a good movie still, even though I've seen it multiple times. And it was just a really special weekend to have my grandparents in town. And this morning I woke up and Jay had already left for his run and my Mimi has had toast and coffee every single morning she's been here. And Jay set out the toaster and the coffee maker and her two little like pods to make coffee and a coffee mug. And I just was like, I don't know, to be considered is to be loved. I've always thought that. And so even if they're little things, like it just says so much. And even though you know, like it's not that big of a task to have someone else do, just to want to do something to make their lives easier. I just think that's so, cute, special, and really awesome watching Jay and I have a family together, yet like we br we're bringing two separate families together. And I feel like that is just such a cool thing to watch as we start our lives together. And it was really awesome having my mommy and papa get to be around both of us more and to get to know Jay a little bit more. Obviously they know him and they've met him, but just staying with us, I feel like puts another it was the first time Papa has stayed here, so it was the first time that we've spent that much time with him um, since Jay and I have been together. So yeah, that was pretty special. And also, it's just cool that they both can be involved in our wedding and got to ask them and they both just seemed so honored. So I love y'all. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little weekend vlog and I will see you guys in my next one. I'm gonna start a new one today as I always do and we'll keep it going for this week. It's Monday morning right now. So I'll start a little week vlog out and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.